All right, Dennis Dodd, open it up. Matt, what's it like to have you know those three receivers able to do what they do, you know, at any given moment? Yeah, I mean, those guys just get open and make plays, and the offensive line blocks real well. So when you can do double moves and passes down the field, it's really the offensive line that starts it all. And you know, just throwing it up to those guys. If it's one on one, they'll make the play. James Ogletree, you're up. Yeah, to Dylan. I asked Demarco this question as well, but I wanted to get your take on Malachi and the interception that he had at the goal line down there. Just how much, how much momentum and, and how much of a spark does that give you guys? And what kind of energy does he bring as a, as a young player playing so well early in his career? Uh, as, far, as far as Malachi's um, interception, you know, it was definitely a big um, momentum sw uh, switch, and I feel like uh, that gave a lot of energy to both the offense and defense. And um, like I said, throughout the game, you know, we just wanted to, you know, continue to the, pressing on the uh, pedal, you know, not giving up and keep pushing. Kirk, go ahead. Yes, uh, Mac, the first play game didn't work out very well. Uh, how do you brush that off? Um, I mean, yeah, we, we always go over our openers, and it was a great play. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what happened, but Smitty was wide open. I should have really just got it out to him. They brought a corner blitz, so that's on me, just getting the ball out there early on a, a double move to those guys. AP Stedham, over to you. Oh, yeah, I have a question for Mac and Dylan. Uh, Mac, what was your goal coming in this, into this game when you watched their secondary? And Dylan, what was the difference for the team in the second half that you had to shut out? Uh, you want to go first? Sure. <laughs> I mean, the goal was just to win, win the game. Like, you can look at their defense, and we, we said this all week. They have good players in the secondary. They have good linebackers. They have good defense linemen, but so do we. So the goal was to score more points than they did. And I think we did that. I know that sounds cliche, but you just execute and do your job and good things will happen. Um, as far as for us, it was just, you know, not getting complacent, playing 60 minutes. Um, we knew that, you know, you know, they're a great team. You know, Georgia's not a pushover team. You know, they're the number three team in the uh, nation for a, uh, for a reason. But it's, uh, just as far as for us, like we just wanted to finish, play 60 minutes and, uh, you know, do what we can. Tony Sakalas, you're up. Mike, you're the first Alabama player to pass for 400 yards in three straight games. First of all, what do you feel about that, uh, that accomplishment? And is this success what you envisioned, or is it even more? Yeah, I mean, I'm just glad we won the game. Like, if we just keep winning, everyone will get stats or whatever you guys like. But I just enjoy winning, and I think the defense get, needs more credit than they deserve tonight going out there pitching a shutout in the second half pretty much. And, you know, they gave us the energy we needed. And we told them that goes week to week. Sometimes we need them, sometimes they need us. And I think they did the best job they could. And they played great, and they gave us that energy that we needed because obviously we didn't execute very well in the first half. Mike Rodak, over to you. Mac, I think you targeted Devontae 27 times the past two games. He has 24 catches in those two games. Just what has led to that connection blossoming, I guess, you know, these past couple weeks? Yeah, I mean, I just trust, trust Smitty a lot. Just banked reps that we have over the past four years. And when a guy looks at you in your eyes and says, throw, throw the ball to me, he says, I don't care if I'm triple covered, throw it to me. I mean, it's hard to turn that down. He's a, he's a Jordan-level competitor. So if you can get him the ball, then he'll make the play. Michael Casagrande, go ahead. Yeah, for Mac, fourth quarter, you guys kind of grinded the ball, uh, ran the ball down your throat, just kind of finished the game off. How satisfying were those drives, and you know, how does it feel to finish the game off like that, kind of old-fashioned football? Yeah, it was great. The defense stopped them, kept stopping them. I think we were up by like two, two possessions or whatever, and they missed the field goal, and we just had to get a few first downs, running the ball, throwing some some RPOs, and. I'm um, just executing that, but the line, like you got to make sure that I told them that it's not over, and they did a great job of proving that by going down there and driving the ball down and um, spinning the clock down. We have time for two more. Brett Hudson, you're up. 
Dylan, how would you grade the, the run defense through four games, and what do you think it needs to be better? Uh, as far as the uh, run game, you know, I feel like, you know, just being more consistent, you know, because like I said last week, you know, you know, you, you guys know what happened. But as far as like this week, we, it was just more so, you know, stopping the run and doing what we can to get out the field on third down. And I feel like we did a good job of doing that. Like I said, it's still areas with improvement that we can have. And um, like I said, we're just not getting complacent. You know, I feel like we still have a lot of more work to do. It's just the first big step for us. Final question will be for Charlie Potter. For both of you guys, just what was the team's reaction whenever you found out that Coach Saban was going to be able to be on the sideline in this game? I mean, I'll start and Dylan can follow, but I mean, it was pretty crazy. Like, I, we were just in our little quarterback meeting and he just showed up. And like, you look over and Coach Saban's walking in. So, I mean, from that perspective, we're fired up. But at the end of the day, he told us that we were ready and that we got to go make plays. So either way, obviously having, having him on the sidelines was great and brought some good energy too. Well, as far as for me and uh, the defense, like we were definitely confident whenever we walked. When he saw, uh, when we saw him walk into uh, our little meeting that we have <laughs> usually before, you know, we do our walkthroughs. You know, uh, the energy we definitely went up, and um, you know, our confidence level just went through the roof. Thank you.